the last half century, most uh, conservation initiatives in this country, or what we call environmentalism, have made people feel bad about uh, our lack of care for the environment. And this kind of initiative has pleasure embedded in it, that we can bring these apples back by creating a market for them, which creates a lot of pleasure among us. And it's a pretty good combination of hedonism, capitalism, and conservation. It's a market-driven approach to saying if no one uh, cares about these apples, if there aren't great preparations of them either as food or drink, farmers and orchard keepers will inevitably pull them out of their uh, orchards because no one wants them. Why not put something in your field or orchard that someone wants? So it's a very different approach to conservation. And uh, my friend Amy Trubeck, who lives up near uh, Ben, <coughs> recently said to me, you know, we've had Fast Food Nation, Food Inc., and several other movies lately, nationally, that um, basically speak about the horrors of our food system. Um, we need to remind people that the way out of those horrors is by really taking pleasure in the well-prepared, sustainably grown food that um, that can lead us out of that that horror into uh, uh, something that's both environmentally sound and pleasurable. So to remind people that uh, these this diversity of apples um, spells distinctive taste, distinctive flavors, distinctive aromas and uh, textures, I think is the easiest way to, to lead people, uh, the, the um, uh, uncommitted, into considering how food diversity really matters in our lives. And so the Renewing America's Food Traditions has had this Forgotten Fruits initiative for about six or eight months to remind people that uh, the most diverse crop historically in America was that of apples, that we had 14,000 kinds of apples on this continent uh, at the, a century ago. Now we have about 1,200 in nurseries, maybe another 2,000 out in the landscape in abandoned orchards that we don't even know what they're named, because they still may have incredible taste profiles, and that maybe 3,200 apples um, really need to be brought back to our table so that people enjoy them and find that there's a reason to keep them around. So what we're doing here isn't trivial. It's uh, reteaching our palates and uh, our, uh, memories to take pleasure in this great diversity of apples that was once on the continent that we can bring back. Our goal is to bring back más o menos about 90 heirloom apples adapted to each region of the United States within the next five to ten years. If New England brought back 90 apples that are no longer in the marketplace, and the Great Lakes brought back 90, and Appalachia could probably bring back 180, and uh, the Piedmont along the coast of the southeast, another 90, and uh, the Plains, another 90, and the Pacific Northwest, another 90, we'd be uh, an order of magnitude richer in apple diversity than we are in our current marketplace today. And so that's sort of some of our goals and the vision of, of RAF, this great uh, collaboration between Slow Food, Chef's Collaborative, uh, Seed Savers Exchange, American Livestock Breeds Conservancy, and other groups. It's really um, saying to the American public, we can be a positive force on the environment and the biological diversity of the continent rather than uh, a negative force on it. So enjoy this and remember that enjoying it is part of bringing uh, these varieties and species back uh, so that their lives can be appreciated by more people.